Chapter 4 Introduction to Internet At first the computers were stand alone. We needed to carry the data in a storage device to copy it to another computer. Then came the networking technology that helped us to connect the computers with each other over a network. Today, we can connect with millions of computers all over the world using Internet. What is Internet? The computer networks all over the world connect together to make the Internet. Internet is a network of networks. It connects different computers all over the world. Nowadays, millions of people are using Internet to send emails, talk to friends, share files and software, and look up for information from sources all over the world. It is a kind of house where huge amount of information is stored. The first workable form of Internet came in 1969 with the creation of Advanced Research Projects Agency Network in USA under the U.S. Department of Defense, ARPANET. In 1990s, Internet came in wider use when computer scientist Tim Berners-Lee invented the World Wide Web. Uses of Internet you can search information on any topic. You can communicate by emails and chat. You can shop online. You can book tickets to travel and movies. You can play songs, videos, games, etc. You can do online banking. Basic Terms of Internet World Wide Web www. World Wide Web is the largest information system on Internet. It consists of millions of websites that provide information in the form of text, animations, pictures and videos. Thus, Internet is like a library that contains millions of books. Website and Web Pages A website is a collection of related web pages that are linked together. A web page generally consists of text, images, audios, videos, links, animations, etc. Home page. The home page is the first web page of a website. It provides introductory information and the links to the other pages of the website. Hyperlink. A hyperlink is the text or image that links one web page to another. If you move the mouse over hyperlink, the pointer will change to the shape of a hand. Notice the hyperlinks in this image of the Wikipedia website. Web browser. A browser or web browser is an application software that is used to access the information on the web. Mozilla Firefox, Internet Explorer, Google Chrome, Safari, Opera are some commonly used browsers. URL A URL is the unique address of a website that is accessible on the Internet. For example, https colon double slash en dot wikipedia dot org slash wiki slash main underscore page is a URL. Opening a website. To open a website, open a browser and enter the URL of the website in the address bar. Then press the enter key. Search engine. There are billions of websites on the internet. You can find information on almost all the topics. But it is difficult to remember the URL of all the websites for a particular topic. This is where a search engine comes in handy. You type relevant keywords into a search engine, which then looks for pages throughout the Internet that contain those words. A search engine is a website used to search the information on the World Wide Web. It helps to find exactly what you are looking for. There are many famous search engines. For example, Google, Bing, Ask, Yahoo Search, etc. To search for information on the wonders of the world, open www.google.com and enter the search keywords in the search box. Click on the Google search button or press the enter key. The links to the web pages containing related information will be displayed. Click on any link you wish to open and see the information. Searching an image. The steps to search for an image are Go to www.google.com 
and click on the image link at the top. Type the search keyword and click on the search image button. Online Safety – Best Practices for Children Internet is a source of all kinds of information. It is a vast ocean of knowledge. But for people who do not know to stay safe, there are dangers online. Hackers who may steal your sensitive information like passwords, bank details, payment card details, online predators who harass the children online and harm them mentally and sometimes physically too, and a lot of unsuitable material which affect children's mind. Therefore, it is important that children should know certain best practices to follow while using the internet. Restricted Social Media and Chat Until certain age, there is no need for children to be on social media and any online chat. They need to spend more quality time with parents, relatives and friends. Dangerous Emails Every email message is not worth opening. Do not open any email from any unknown or strange-looking source. Delete such mails immediately. Selective Online Games Parents' permission and approval is required by the children to play any online game. Safe and Interesting Websites Parents must share a list of certain websites which are useful and interesting for children. Internet Safety Awareness Videos Parents must go to the YouTube, find some videos on internet safety and watch them with their children. They should explain wherever needed to help them realize the threats and preventive measures. Be discreet. Never share your personal information with everyone. Safe downloading. Talk to your parents and teachers before downloading any software or game. Do not experiment. Personal photos. Never share photos of yourself and family members with strangers or even friends whom you cannot trust. Antivirus Always keep a good antivirus software installed on the computer. Ask your parents to run antivirus regularly. Save transactions People should be careful while transferring money or making a purchase online. A secured website has its address starting with HTTPS with the icon of a closed padlock. Responsibilities of a good digital citizen Being an educated and sincere citizen of cyber world, it is necessary for us to keep yourself safe online. Follow the tips below to become a responsible digital citizen. No pirated content Say no to pirated games, movies and software. There are the largest sources of hacking. Any unauthorized, cheap software, movie or game can harm your computer or send personal information on your computer to the hackers when you go online. Also, never share pirated content to others. Save external drives. Always scan pen drives, disks and any external drive with antivirus before opening any file from them on your computer. No copying. When you do research online for your projects, do not copy the information and pass it on claiming as yours. This is unethical and illegal. Always mention the source of information if you are using it in your projects. Respect privacy. Do not connect and contact others who do not want to connect with you. Just like you, Others also need privacy. Discipline Follow the basic rule laid out by your parents and school in using the computer and internet safely. Your discipline will keep you out of trouble and will not cause any trouble to your school and parents. Most importantly, always talk to your parents and teachers without any hesitation. They are your most reliable support when you are in doubt and trouble.